George Lacey here of Joan Co. Realty Group, and today we will be covering the most desirable neighborhoods to live in in Scream, Texas, in Klein ISD. Before we get started, I wanted to go ahead and show you the Joan Co. website where you can find all of this wonderful, valuable information. So here is the home page. Our most recent blog post has been the best and most popular private schools in the Woodlands, Texas. So here you see the home page. You can scroll down. These are different categories that we have. You will see the most recent blog posts on the left, and on the right, you will see the most popular blog posts. Everything is clickable, byjoandco.com. Everything will be linked below, and there's all these categories on the right. You can see all the different neighborhoods we've featured. You can keep loading all of our blog posts by clicking that button there. You can follow me on Pinterest, YouTube, Instagram. Here's my Instagram account. So the links are all at the bottom, and they're also at the top. So you can learn more about me, more about the community. Here you can see our home search app, home search button, list of different neighborhoods, open houses. We talked about buying, selling events, our community. There are really a ton of pieces of information here. So back to the blog post. The most desirable neighborhoods to live in in Spring, Texas, and Klein ISD. So when I talk to my clients, I ask them what they want in a neighborhood, and their requests are always a safe area, a neighborhood with amenities, an area with great schools, convenience in relation to shopping, restaurants and major highways, an area that is pretty or has mature trees, and some folks even ask for newer homes, while others ask for lower tax rates. So it's very rare to find both of those. There is one neighborhood nestled within Northampton called Inway Oaks Estates, that area is like grandfathered into the mud over there, so it has a very low tax rate and the brand new homes. I would compare them to kind of patio homes. The houses are huge. The lots don't have a lot of extra green space. They cater to the older community over there, just people that don't want to maintain a lawn. Anywho, so I have broken down these neighborhoods by why someone chose to live there and their budget. So at the top, you can see these homes are broken down 150000 to 200000 for these particular neighborhoods. They're alphabetical order. I've bolded the ones that are the most popular. So you have Ash Creek. They have a community pool, award-winning elementary school. Um, I put lower end of the above range, so um, closer to the 150. Low tax assess values. Then we have Bridgestone. My mother-in-law actually lives here and she loves it. I've sold a lot of houses here before. It has a tax rate of 2.83%, so not the lowest tax rate, but the homes are inexpensive, so your taxes aren't super high. They have a community pool, award-winning schools, tennis courts, and the elementary schools within there, so that makes it really popular. This is a wonderful first-time homebuyer neighborhood. You have Charterwood. Colony Creek is also awesome for first-time home buyers. I think anything with the elementary school within the neighborhood is going to really have a lot of equity growth in the next couple years. So Colony Creek also has a community pool. They have a wonderful park. They have tennis courts. Then we have Glenlock and then Kleinwood. Kleinwood is amazing because it's walking distance to Meyer and Colin park <laughs> and I really love this neighborhood. The homes in this neighborhood go really fast. So another thing that you're noticing is that there are links for the homes for sale in that particular neighborhood. When you click on a link, you can mess with the parameters here. So this is taking you to HAR.com. This I'm going to click over to just my HAR site. I love HAR.com and you can see my actual link right here. And it's in, it's also right here on the website. So HAR.com is amazing. I'm about to record a video talking about the neighborhood itself, not the neighborhood, sorry, the website itself. So look at all these parameters that you can type in. So you can see all the different neighborhoods that I've looked for for different clients. You can break it down by city, zip code. I would recommend hitting single family if that's the type of home you're looking for. And I would also recommend changing this to for sale or lease. That A right there stands for active. I wish it just had an active button there. Um, and then you can 
change the max and minimum prices, the minimum bedrooms. There really are so many parameters here. The only thing that's lacking is a tax feature, and I can do that in the back end. So if you're looking for the tax rate below 3.0, I can do a custom search for you and send you over the results on a weekly basis, for example. Another thing I always tell people to do is pick that two-car garage. <laughs> if you want to pool or don't want to pool, that's over here on the left side. And then if you click this link right here, the Home Search app, it will bring all of this up in an app format. So it will bring you to this page if you're on a computer like I am right now. And then if you're on a mobile device, then it will work seamlessly. Now if you download the app and then click this button, it will connect us together. And once we are connected together, I will have access to communicating with you and you'll have access to communicating with me on this platform. You can request showings straight through this platform and they'll come straight to me. It's, I can't wait to talk about it. Like it is my favorite feature to my business is using the HAR app and then connecting me. So I have a client right now and she'll send me, she'll find a house she likes, she'll hit the message button and she'll say, hey, did this house what? And I'll say yes or no. And it's really great for staying organized. So back over to the blog post. So we have Kleinwood, which I said the homes go really fast in there. Londonberry, Majestic Oaks, Memorial Chase, North Point East. Almost all of these school neighborhoods have award-winning schools. Memorial Springs, it's really close to where I live. Sold a house over there recently. Oakwood Glen. Sugarberry Place. Now, one of my family members has a rental property in Sugarberry Place, and I really like this neighborhood. I discovered it, and it has really low, it has a really low tax rate. It's really good for rental homes if you're an investor. Um, so Sugarberry Place, it also zones to our brand new high school, so that's one thing that makes it really popular with buyers. And it's a great first-time home buyer neighborhood as well. So Willow Forest. And then we're then we jump to 200,000 plus. So you have Alberry Trails Estates, Auburn Lakes. So Auburn Lakes is insanely popular and um, Augusta Pines. So Augusta Pines is probably the most popular out of the ones I've just mentioned. It's a golf course community. They have community pool, award-winning schools, a sought after elementary school. The elementary school is within walking and biking distance. And then, sorry, I'm playing with lip gloss. <laughs> and then there are neighborhood tennis courts and a country club. And then you have Candlelight Hills. So that's a really low tax rate, so I made sure to feature that. Champion Forest is very popular. It's going to be higher price per square foot, but it's um, there's a golf course within the community, award-winning school, sought-after elementary school. Most of the homes you can walk to the elementary school from. There's a country club with private can't talk today, <laughs> private tennis courts, and a swimming pool, and a gym. So I really like Champion Forest. My family owned a home there for a really long time, and my dad grew up there, so it's uh, close to my heart. And then you have Country Lake Estates, Estates, <laughs> Glenlock Farm. So this one, you see that it's bold. This neighborhood, actually, grew up, I grew up nanny and babysitting in this neighborhood. I love it. I was even a tutor for a little boy that went to an elementary school there. And I just searched for him on Facebook the other day, and he actually just graduated. Super cool. So the range is 220k to 2.5 million. So if you're looking for something at a higher price point, with the golf course, swimming pools, the elementary school is amazing. The middle school is the same middle school that my kids go to. It is, I think, number one. High school is great as well. Um, it's the brand new high school. So most of the kids can walk or bike. There's tennis courts, country club. Like, it's a really good neighborhood. If you're looking for a newer neighborhood with a lot of establishment, there's no more building left in that neighborhood. And then you have Greenwood Forest. Oh, one thing about Glenlock Farms, it's right off of 99. So it's got great access to the rest of Houston. And then Greenwood Forest, Hampton Creek. Hampton Creek are newer homes, so the tax rate is a little bit higher. And then Huntwick Forest, this neighborhood is so popular. Uh, whenever I take an, a family over there, they just fall in love with the trees. So the elementary school is right there. You have a pool and tennis courts. The HO, HOA fee is really low in this neighborhood, making it really popular. And Inverness Estates, Inway Oaks Estates, that's the one I mentioned with the low tax rate 
great but brand new homes and it's gated which is really awesome i brought up Kleinwood again because it falls in a higher price point as well laurel glen and laurel park you're gonna pay for that tax rate in these neighborhoods but they are brand new neighborhoods they're probably like 50 percent done but i still think of them as brand new and they're klein isd and then Memorial Northwest, I'm a little biased, this is probably my favorite neighborhood. Uh, the range is 200K to 600K. The tax rate is 2.51 to 2.72. When I moved here, it was like 2.4, but we're giving a lot of attention to our schools. And actually, I think the tax rates have fallen in the last uh, like couple months, to believe it or not. So we have a brand new community pool, the award-winning schools. My kids walk to elementary school and middle school. And my uh, stepson even could come home, walk to and from high school if he wanted to. He didn't want to wait for the bus. There are neighborhood tennis courts, a community clubhouse, a neighborhood gym. It really is an all-around amazing neighborhood. If you saw the swimming pool, it's on, the, on my YouTube. If you saw the swimming pool, your kids would just like beg you to move here. So Memorial Northwest is great. The price per square foot is very conservative. So uh, you can get a very large home for not as much as another neighborhood. Normandy Forest, Northampton. Northampton is such a popular neighborhood. The tax rates are extremely low, as you can see right there. Homes range between 240 and 540. There's a community pool, the award-winning schools. You can walk to the elementary school, the tennis courts. There's It also bumps up to the golf course, so it's a really cool neighborhood. It's beautiful, and they're renovating so many houses in this neighborhood. And then you have, so it's, most of the homes probably built in the 70s and 80s. I should have put the years on here. That would have been a good idea. So Northcrest Village ranges between 190 and 370. Preserve at Northampton. Reserve at Klein. This is a brand new neighborhood with a gated section, which is really cool. So you are going to have a little bit of a higher tax rate. But again, you're going to some great Klein schools. Scenic Gardens Plaza, Sentara Lake, Shadow Creek Estates, Shannon Forest, Spring Creek Forest, and Spring Creek Oaks. Those are two insanely popular neighborhoods. Your home is a really beautiful home. They do not last long at all. This is one of the fastest selling neighborhoods. Tax rates are um, in the high twos, but you're really getting a lot in these neighborhoods. Again, they're very pretty. They have humongous lots. I think that's one of the reasons why the neighborhoods are so popular. And then Village of Santerra Lakes, a little bit of a newer neighborhood. And then you have Windrose. Windrose is very popular. It's a very established neighborhood, and it's a golf course community. So if you're looking for new construction, I created this link right here. And again, it you can um, niche down. So minimum price, maximum price, um, you can hit the more filters button. And then once you've niched down, you just hit search and then it will populate. The list right now should be sorted from newest to oldest. So the homes that have been on the market the least amount of time will always appear on top. So if you're revisiting this button, then the newest stuff will always be at the top and ready for you to view. Let's see my house. <clears throat> okay, so we're jumping out of there. And then um, you'll be able to see all of my links down here. So I really recommend visiting the YouTube channel where you will find a lot of amazing content. Um, just like clicking this button right here. And here is my channel. So I'm logged in, so it looks a little funny on the side here. But you can see all of my most recent uh, YouTube videos. So 2019 Best Cities to Raise a Family in, according to Niche.com. Swear alert, it was The Woodlands as number two, which I really think should have been number one. We talk about Memorial Northwest, Town Lake. Um, I do Bridgeland, Where to Stay When ho House Hunting, Moving to the Woodlands, Market Street. So really a lot. Of, um, amazing content here. Whoops. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. So I used to have a lot of like juicing videos on my YouTube and since I'm logged in it just shows you all so that's awesome. But anywho I really hope this has been informational. If you are looking for a real estate agent in the area again my name is George Lacey with Joe & Co Realty Group and I would love to help you find that dream home. If you have any questions if you are thinking about relocating from another state, I would love to answer those questions for you. I specialize in relocation. So thank you for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.